It's coffee time again. I love coffee episodes because I like to drink coffee. And we're doing a, it's one of those hand grinder, um, coffee grinder, a manual burr. So a burr grinder is different. So you have a grinder with blades that go, bzzz, right? And it just chops up your beans. A burr grinder is more of a crushing, like, like gears. So we're going to show you up close. This one is by a but the brand's called Java Press Hand Grinder or Coffee Grinder. So come on in close. Let's do some coffee. I got my little $10 Mr. Coffee machine here. This was like maybe 15, 20 bucks. And this coffee here, which one of you noticed on the show, it was in the background a couple of weeks ago. You're like, hey, I see you have some Norwegian coffee. Yes, a friend of mine uh, went to the Scandinavian area and brought me back uh, I don't know if it's Norwegian or for what exactly area it's from. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't say. Oh, Amsterdam? The Netherlands. There you go. And it smells amazing. I've had this for about two weeks, and it's still, the aroma is coming through the bag and these little, little vent holes they have. I love coffee. Get in here. So I'm not really promoting these brands. Uh, I'm guessing they're popular since somebody noticed them on the show, but this is the one. I'm going to go with this gold bag right here. We're going to put this, I'll probably use this on my brisket in the future. I love coffee grounds on my brisket. Put that over there and let's get into this. Uh, I guess it just, <laughs> the directions are right here and I'm guessing, I'm so embarrassed. And that's it. Wow, that was difficult. So this is this is the dial here on how coarse or how how fine you want it. I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a sample grinding here to show you. All right, so we're gonna put the beans in here, then they're gonna grind through there and fall into here, and then we pull that open and make our coffee. All right, I got it. Pour some in there. Oh, yeah, that isn't smart, Jack. <laughs> This is why I love the show. You never know what's gonna go wrong. Do, 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 do. What I gotta do is pour some in my hand, right? And then pour them in here. That's how you do it. Oh, perfect. So you put this on top. Come on, get on there. There you go. Everything's together. This is just a little hand crank. And I'm just rotating it. Let's take a look here. Oh, that's perfect for me. Okay, put this off to the side and let's get the coffee pot going. Okay, so I've got my paper filter in there. And yes, even this little cheap Mr. Coffee can make amazing coffee. Now I want to share this before I pour this beautiful cup of coffee. Look how dark it is. I dig on that. It says here that in the first 15 minutes of grinding your beans, you will start to lose 40% of the aroma. So that's why you grind your beans and then make your coffee right away. So you can get the best out of your beans, okay? Nothing's worse than having a cup of coffee and you can't smell that, that beautiful fragrance that the beans bring especially a dark roast has so much. Remember, a light roast has more caffeine and less flavor, and a dark roast has more flavor and aroma than a light roast, but less caffeine. Still a little hot. Oh, so good. Mm. Oh my goodness. Freshly ground is the way to go. Super inexpensive burr grinder. Hand crank takes just two minutes and you're brewing on your Mr. Coffee or whatever device you guys have. Got a little cake up holder, put the grounds in there. And this is called javapress.com. I'll have a link down below if you wanna grab one of these. This is how I'm making my fresh cups of coffee from now on. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.